Gauranga, Nityananda Prabhu, they're all like what very high level. So why when they met also just like ordinary people, why they had that kind of emotions and expressions and how they felt. Um, it's They're beyond all those things, right? Is it to convey some message to us or how we should express our feelings? Uh, I don't know. That was my first question. Okay. Very nice question. Uh, actually, what they were exhibiting were actually the symptoms of love of God. When any person has, uh, is, is a pure devotee and his heart and mind is free from all the uh, anarthas of lust, pride, greed, envy, anger, attachments, dharma, krodh, lobh, moha, mad, matsarya, then that person reach slowly, slowly reaches to uh, nishtha, asakti, bhava, and prem. So that that prem, when when some reaches to that level of prema, meaning Krishna prema within the heart, because by nature we are all part and parcels of Krishna, in and our purpose is to revive that love of Krishna which is there in our heart. Everyone has love of Krishna in our hearts already. It's just that it's covered with all these anarthas. When these go away, the natural love of Krishna comes out of the soul's loving relationship with the Lord. And uh, when that happens, there are several ecstatic symptoms that come in this body. It's not like we will attain love of God after we leave this body, after our death, then we attain love of God. No. Even Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda, they were actually proving that even while we are living in this body, Nikhileshvapi avasthasu jivan mukte sauchyate, that while living in this material world, we can become liberated if that love of God has been revived within our hearts. And when the love of God is revived within our hearts, then these ecstatic symptoms come in the body. There are eight ecstatic symptoms, which is called as the Ashtavikara. I'm not sure if I can count all eight, but some of them are shivering in the body. Some of them is uh, tears coming out, the teeth chattering. And these are like at a very advanced level. Many great acharyas who have developed love of God have actually uh, demonstrated, I mean, like demonstrated this, but generally acharyas don't like to show this off because then people imitate and then they falsely say, oh, I'm also love of God. I, my teeth are chattering. Look, they put their hand in the socket and you'll get all eight symptoms, <laughs> shivering, crying, tears, all these things. So they can be artificially imitated. But what Gornitai were experiencing were actually uh, the symptoms of pure love of God. And these are the same symptoms which Srimati Radharani experiences out of love for Krishna. And Krishna experiences out of love for Srimati Radharani. And so even at, at that level, at the level of though Radharani, who is eternally liberated, Balaram, when they, when these, when, when they meet each other after long periods of separation, this love, pure love, devoid of all lust, devoid of all, any selfish motive, it erupts. And when the love erupts, like a volcano erupts, these symptoms manifest in the body without knowing the crying of the symptoms. So this is the purpose of life, to go from material emotions to transform them into spiritual emotions. The purpose is not to mm. negate material emotions and just be grave all the time and not, not smile ever. Or always keep smiling. Whatever happens, smile. No, there are emotions. But we should, like uh, Hanuman, he, he, he exhibited his emotion of anger in Lanka. But that was spiritual emotion. Because that was not for his selfish reasons. He was angry uh, for, out of love for Lord Ram. So that 
is a spiritual emotion. So these, we, we have to transform our selfish material emotions into selfless, loving spiritual emotions. That is the purpose of life. That is what Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya were experiencing and demonstrating by their own example. It's not that they were making up something and for us to see as, a, as an act or anything. They were actually experiencing the highest spiritual ecstatic emotions. And everyone was able to witness that. And uh, now, we are, now we know what, what we need to do. Now, it doesn't mean that we should artificially, even if we are not pure, fully purified, we are artificially trying to uh, imitate those emotions. But we know that is the goal. That is what love of God looks like. And uh, uh, by hearing these pastimes, our heart will become purified of all the materialistic desires, the, the selfish desires of lust, pride, greed, envy, anger. And we'll be able to transform into spiritual emotions as was exhibited by Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda.